So I'm about to make some brunch, brunch time, not really breakfast, but I'm gonna make eggs, toast. I only have three eggs left though, so I might need to go grocery shopping eventually. For some reason, this bread is just, it's so good. Like it tastes like really, I don't know, chewy, like almost like mochi bread. And I have no idea why, but it just, just, it's so yummy. I'm gonna um, butter this up. So this is gonna be toast. Come up. Whoa. <laughs> Yummy. Nice guy. The guy that I said is white who doesn't make his research. Yeah. Mm. You know what I need? I need some milk. Mm -hmm. This bread is so good. I don't know what it is. It's just no, like no, no, no. right? It's so it's like Wow, Would you like some? Soy milk. This is like um, Chinese soy milk. So, so today. So today. So today. So today. Hey, don't make like me. <laughs> so today, I have. Hmm, well, I have a lot of admin to do, but my main goal is to do a bunch of my studies for my real estate course. I'm doing my real estate course, and yeah, I've been doing it for a while now. But I've left like a lot of the papers because, um, you know, this is a pretty open timeline for everything so that's what happens when that is the case so it's kind of like up to you to do like the course consistently which is good and bad because it's more flexible also if you're wondering like what's happening with my uni degree i've mentioned before like i've just paused for the moment but i will be going back probably next year so yeah i'll be back first term next year i'm also doing the real estate course so that's why i was like i feel like it's a bit hectic um because there's a lot going on right now anyways what's my main point so yeah today i'm gonna be doing a bunch of my assignments that i haven't done yet um mm, this bread is really good so i'm gonna get through some admin first i have some contracts i need to send back i've like read over them but what i do is i always read over the contract like i don't know like a good amount of time just sitting there reading it over and over and over again because just in case if anything's like wrong with it um 
but yeah like not anything's wrong with it but just in case you know like even though you have someone look at it i still need to look at it again just in case <clears throat> i'm gonna do this now and then i'm gonna send this in and then i'm gonna reply some emails and then we have my course to do which i've downloaded so today we're gonna be doing let me see professional practice and it's just a bunch of like theory but um i have to do a bunch of notes on that so let's get started i'm gonna write out my plan for the day Normally I would decorate this a little more, but I don't have anything on me right now because obviously all my stuff is in storage, so yes, but anyway, so this is the list of stuff I have to do. I've already done this first one. I really like writing down like my daily tasks. Um, I normally have like a huge whiteboard, which I do it on, but I don't have my whiteboard markers because everything's in storage right now. Um, and also because we're in lockdown, like I can't even go to the studio and like pick up my stuff. I'm nearly out of pages in this as well. So I'm getting a new book soon, but yeah, so this is how I like to lay it out. It's just very clear. It's kind of like a checklist um, for my day to day which is nice. I'm a very visual person, so like when I see everything before me, it's just like, I know like this is what I need to get done. You like take it off. It's just, it confirms like the deed has been done. <laughs> so anyways, okay, next send over another draft and review samples and send feedback. spend like the next hour or so just working on my real estate course and then after that I'm gonna do some edits for some artwork that I'm working on so yes first things first let's get this course up this is the first thing I have to get done <laughs> look how many learning activities there are it's literally one two three four five six seven eight nine eighteen eighteen so many and there's like all these questions in each of them oh i did create a chart okay then i'm on oh i finished this question too two did i answer question three <laughs> what are we answering research the real estate professional industry bodies and explain their role in real estate activities Clint just made us some shin ramen for a late, late lunch because we <laughs> ate really late breakfast. Um, wow. What is it? Now the time's so close. Well, Clint's watching the long jump. Is that long jump? <laughs> no, it's hurdles. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. He's watching hurdles. It's right there. This is my first ramen in a long time because ramen is bad for me. 
Or sparsely. Is it? Oh, you know what I've been eating that's really bad? A lot of cake. Wow. I've done some of my paper, but I really need to get some designs done because I'm working on something and oh, the lighting's really bad. I'm just finishing off some designs today and to send them in ASAP. So I'm gonna do that now. It's really sunny right now. I really wanna go for a walk, but there's stuff to get done today. Let me show you guys real quick. And Clint studying inside. I just got back from the grocery store and it's so awkward. I literally like, I was holding all this stuff because I had my iPad in my hand as well. And so I didn't get a basket because I was just too lazy. I'm always too lazy to get a basket. So I was just like holding everything in my hands. And then I dropped two, well, I dropped one punnet of my baby tomatoes on the ground before I got to check out. And I was like, oh, like it's so annoying because it's awkward, right? Because everything's just like on the ground and I was like, what do I do? Like I obviously have to pick it up because that's like rude if I don't pick it up. And I was like, I can't put this back on the shelf either because I can't just put like a punnet of um, tomatoes back on the shelf after I dropped them on the floor. So I was like, okay, I have to pick these all up and then probably buy it. So I just like put them all in. And then the guy in front of me, he probably didn't notice because he was just like minding his own business. And so he literally started walking over and he like pushed like my tomatoes away because he was like walking and his foot like rolled them away. And I was like, oh God, this is so awkward. And the lady behind me was like, oh, she was kind of awkward too. And I was like, it's okay, you can just go first. Like, I'm just gonna pick up these tomatoes. But anyways. Me now that was really awkward but anyway so i ended up taking them because 
I don't think I could have not taken them. So I got some chicken. These are chicken tenders. I was going to use that for pesto. Got this pizza. Two punnets of the damn tomatoes, which I need to wash now. We got some fresh farm eggs. And they're 800 grams, so they're like ginormous. Like they're literally this big. Check out that egg. It's so big. It's literally the size of like my hand, but not really. So those are the eggs. Clint wanted to try these veal tortellinis. We got this bread again. This bread is so good. It's just so chewy and like delicious. The mini grocery stock up because we don't have anything at the moment. I'm gonna put everything away. Well, you know what would have been a better idea if I put them here first and then put them here because then I avoid having to like go over that egg. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about finishing this today, but I'm sure gonna try. Um, Cause after this I have the exam paper to do. So every set of topics has a kind of study book, which you work through like the bunch of questions. Um, and as you saw, there were like 18 parts and each part has like multiple different like sub questions that you have to answer. And then a few like case studies at the end. And then the exam kind of works similarly. So the, the exam kind of works similarly to that. So um, it'll have like these different sections and then a bunch of questions under them and then some case studies too. So yeah, you basically do the same thing twice, but they word it kind of differently. Don't know why they do that, but yeah. Anyways, it's interesting though. I've learned a lot of new things. I wanted to show you guys the sunset today, but the sun didn't really actually set. It's really cloudy. I, I'll show you guys anyways, just so you guys can see what it looks like. It's just very cloudy today, but it's pretty. Ta-da! The clouds are beautiful though. Look at that. Hi guys! <laughs> I just want to come and like talk to you guys because I feel like I haven't in a really long time and I miss you guys like so much and I feel like I just haven't had a moment like to actually sit down and just tell you guys what's been happening. This is like the life update no one asked for but I feel like I used to be so much more personable and open with you all um but I think just so much has been going on in my personal life that it's really overwhelmed me and kind of just made me really tired I think. Honestly, so anyways, so what's been going on with me? I guess, I don't know, I think life has been so chaotic these past few months. Even this past year, I'd say it's like absolute chaos. It's weird. I'm in a really weird headspace right now. It's like everything's good, you know? Everything's so good, but at the same time, it's not. And I think a lot of you guys can probably relate. It's like everything is probably fine around you, but, you know, there's just a few things which aren't right recent months i don't know why i like became super emotional i was literally having like a crisis like every other night i was like literally existential crisis and just like overthinking everything and i became like super anxious and i was like what is going on with me like i think i'm just overthinking things but it's because of a number of factors i think a lot was happening in my personal life and there was a lot of change going on around me and a lot of self pressure and internalized like grief that just all kind of exploded uh, i became really closed off i think in the past like 
half year like more than that i mean past eight months i don't know i feel just i just felt so closed off and i'm not sure if it comes through in my videos like i felt like i wasn't that open i used to be way more open if you look at my earlier student diaries videos like i was just like yapping about like saying whatever i wanted and after a while i realized i wasn't saying much at all and i think it's because i didn't want to say anything because i felt just very quiet and i didn't want to say anything because i was just honestly in a really down mood a lot of the time but obviously like you know i want to be real with you guys but i don't want to like put that kind of aura onto you guys because that that just isn't nice and i don't want to be making you guys feel sad so yeah i don't know i think it's just been a lot of chaos in my life it's weird like i think like you know things happen and you're like why you know so to summarize like what was going on i had a lot of like personal stuff that was happening and that was like a whole headache and a half and i don't know it's weird like you tell yourself you're not gonna let things get to you but they get to you you know they really do and it's just a matter of time to kind of erase that but again it takes time so you kind of have to like wait it out um so that was weighing down on me and also studying this course that i started this year i'm obviously thinking about going back to uni i'm probably going to go back early next year so first term of 2022 and then I also work with my family, so I help out a lot of the time. And until like this recent lockdown, we were helping out really consistently. And that was just like, I guess added pressure because there was like so much happening at the same time. So I was like trying to juggle this plate of things. And then I had my own projects that I was trying to work on at the same time. So I was like, what do I do? So yeah, that was me. And so I guess like all of that just felt really overwhelming. And I was like, is there something wrong with me? Is it that I can't, like, am I not capable enough to juggle all these things? Like, it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but then it feels like a lot. And I think it's just very draining. Like, it drains your energy, I guess. But anyways, so that's me. I don't know. I just really want to, like, get it out and off my chest because I've been feeling just crazy. Like, actually crazy and just weirdly emotional. I don't know. Like, I'm sure you guys have a lot in your plates as well. Just, like, juggling anything is, like, a lot. I don't know how people do it. Some people are, like, incredibly good at, like, juggling their life. And I'm like, yeah, there's no balance in my life. Because, like, balance just doesn't exist. Um, but I hope you guys are doing okay. Look after yourselves. Look after your mind. Look after your soul and your health and the energy around you. I think it's important to know, like, you know, who you surround yourself with and, like, what kind of, you know, energy is going to, like, bring you up don't want any of that negativity in your life just there's no time for that first things first i think look after yourself like nobody's gonna look after you better than you and your needs and prioritize anything that you want it's gonna be like you who has to do that so just a reminder for you guys like look after yourselves but anyways so that's my update for you guys i felt really cheesy um but yeah so that's that and what else is i gonna say oh yeah and we're currently in lockdown in sydney so i'm kind of like Ugh. like it's good and bad because it's like interfering with what i need to do because i need to go places right now but i can't because we're in lockdown so i'm like Ugh. so it's kind of messing with my schedule but it's okay whatever is better for the greater good will be prioritized Okay, time to go make some dinner. This is the pizza we're having tonight. Apparently this is like a restaurant and like they sell like these dehydrated pizzas. Still very young. Yeah. Delicious. 
inches. I'll do this, 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 Right, this is good. Is that sauce? Oh, it's sauce. It is. Look, I'm in tin. No, no. <laughs> Oops. I give it a solid six. This isn't bad. Pasta taste test. Wait, this isn't pasta. It is pasta. Tortellini taste test. It is pasta. <laughs> Tortellini is pasta. No, but it was specifically tortellini. <laughs> it's mm. pasta. Mm. It's really good. It's good, right? Yeah. I got a snack while I do some online shopping.